Done. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been about 10 years since I did a tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial using the So Sue and Katie palette, the Urban Bible palette. I haven't even opened this yet, so it has the little thing full of money. So I'm going to do um, swatches first on my arm, show you what all the shades look like. And then I'll jump straight into the eye look. I think I'm going to do this eye look here that I done on my Instagram the other day. The shades in the palette kind of look similar. So I think I might do that and then maybe add some like pinks and purples underneath the eye. Just because I want to try and use as many shades in the palette as I can. I didn't pick up any of the lashes or brushes. I probably should have got the lashes. But I do have loads of lashes. So I'll just use a pair of lashes that I'm already using. And yeah, I'm going to show you the swatches now. So let's go. So I'm literally just gonna take the cling film off and we're gonna open this bad boy together. I haven't seen the palette in person yet, so I'm excited to open it. So that is what the palette looks like. It looks so pretty. Those shimmery shades look so intense, I'm dying to, especially this one, I'm dying to swatch that one. So I'm gonna start off with the swatches and just go from left to right on each row. So the first shade I'm gonna swatch is the shade Veil and it's super creamy and really soft. So I'm just gonna start right here. So that is what Veil looks like. And I'm just gonna go in for a second time just to kind of layer it. And then Saviour, which is a nice kind of mustardy brown. And I'm just gonna swatch that right next to the first shade. And I'm going to do a double layer swatch with each of these just to show you how they build up. Then 1996, which is a really nice bronzy shade. And again, I'm just going to go back in for a second time and just layer it over top. And then I'm going to go in and swatch the shade Prophecy, which is a nice warm chocolate brown. Oh, that is really pigmented. Next we have Aura, which is this gorgeous, it's almost like a blue with like a silver or gold shimmer reflect through it. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, it's definitely like a kind of blue base with almost like a silvery gold shimmer. Then we have Fate, which is a really nice bright yellow. I love using yellows with like browns. You can also use it with like the pinks and kind of purple shades for like more of a sunset eye. So that there is Fate, which is the yellow. I'm just going to go back in and swatch it one more time. So that's Fate. Then we have Unruly, which is this gorgeous deep plummy red shade. Then we have Oat, which is more of a cool tone flat brown. Then we have Majesty, which is a really nice orange, like a bright orange shade. And I just went back in and swatched that twice. Then we have the shade Myth, which is a really gorgeous purple shade. I feel like I've never seen an eyeshadow that shade. It reminds me of Inglot's Pigment in 112, which is one of my favourites. So there we have Myth, which is absolutely stunning. It's very similar to um, like the same formula as the blue one. But this one has more of, I would say, like a silver undertone, whereas the blue one has more of like a gold reflex underneath. But again, super creamy, super pigmented. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Freedom. So this purple shade, that is what Freedom looks like. And I'm just going to go back in and double swatch that. And um, purples can be very hard to kind of swatch because they are more cool tones, so... Then we have Chaos, which is a gorgeous kind of blue-brown kind of colour. Very similar to MAC Blue Brown or Inglot's 85 pigment, which is one of my favourites. You can see there, it has like a darker base, but like a teal reflect going through it. Then moving on to the last line, I'm going to swatch Mercy. So it's more of like a pinkish colour, like a gold reflect. So that's two swatches of Mercy. Then we have Sacred Fire, which is a bright red shade. So that's one swatch and then I'm just gonna go over and swatch it for a second time. 
Then we have Sacrifice, which is a deep, deep purple shade. So it's kind of like a blackened purple. And I'm just gonna go in and swatch that one more time. And then the last shade in the palette is the shade Sin, which is a black. And that looks like it's gonna be super pigmented. So I'm just gonna swatch that one right next to purple. And then that is the black in the palette. And I'm just gonna go in and double swatch it. So that is the entire palette swatched. So I've already went ahead and primed my lids using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C2. And I haven't set my concealer because I want the shadows to be as pigmented as possible. So I think the first shade I'm gonna go in with then is the shade Faith, which is that bright yellow. And I'm just gonna take that on a Morphe M573 blending brush, which is like a large fluffy brush. And the palette actually has a really big mirror on it, which is really handy for doing your makeup on the go. So I'm going straight in with that yellow and I'm just gonna pop that as my transition shade. So I'm just gonna start by pressing that yellow shade on and just building up the color. Kind of just placing it where I want it and then you can worry about blending it out afterwards. I think I'm gonna do a different color underneath, so I'm not gonna bring this underneath the lash line. I think I might do like pink or purple underneath the bottom lash line, so I'm just gonna keep this yellow on top. And I'm gonna take that yellow quite high and bring it up into the eyebrow a little bit, just so it looks super blown out. So to deepen that up, I'm gonna go in with that kind of mustardy brown shade. I'm gonna take that on the same brush and just work that slightly below yellow shade this is like one of my favorite kind of colors to use love this for like every day or just all over the lid you are going out with like kind of bronzy gold shades it's fab but i literally just went in with that shade once and that is the color payoff so that one's really nice and pigmented and it blends really really nicely the yellow blended super easily as well so i'm just buffing that out slightly bring it into the yellow you don't want to take it the whole way over the yellow just kind of like 50 percent of the way into the yellow so I'm just going in for a second time and dipping into Saviour just to deepen up the crease. So on that same um, small blending brush from Inglot, I'm going to go in with Prophecy, which is a darker, more chocolatey brown. And I'm going to keep this mainly on the outer corner, kind of halfway into the crease. And I'm just going to flick out any fallout. And then just to deepen that a little bit more, I'm going to go into Oat, which is that dark cool tone brown shade. And I'm just going to deepen the outer corner again and slightly take that along the lash line. And I'm going to take it a tiny little bit into the crease as well, just so it's nice and blended. I'm really gonna focus packing that shade out on the outer corner just so it's really nice and dark on the outer edges. I'm leaving the kind of center of the lid free because I'm gonna pop um, the shade Chaos, which is that gorgeous kind of brown teal shade. I'm gonna pop that over top so you don't really need to worry about the lid yet. And this is going to look like a bit of a mess until I actually like pop on um, shimmer shade. It's going to look a bit crazy, but we'll get there. Um, so for the lid shade then, I'm going to take just a flat brush, if I can find it. Um, yeah. So for the lid shade, I'm going to take the shade Oat, which is that kind of blue-brown shade. Just taking that on a Inglot 22T flat brush. And I'm just going to press that onto the lid. So what I'm going to do is, I'm pretty sure Kaylee said the shimmers apply better with your finger. So I'm going to do a light layer all over the lid with the brush just to kind of blend it out first. And then I'm going to go in with my finger and then just pack it on to the centre of the lid. And it definitely does apply a lot better with your finger. Um, it just applies a lot more kind of glossy with your finger. 
So that there is what it looks like with the shimmer shade on. And I'm just going to go in with a brush. Just because you will get a little bit of fallout with shimmers. And just flick away any product. I haven't done any powder underneath the eyes. So it just flicks away nice and easily. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of the orange. Just between the brown and the yellow. So I'm going to go in with the shade Majesty. Which is that bright orange. And I'm taking that on, I think this is a, I'm not sure what brush this is, I think it might be blank canvas. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that orange and just blend it in between the brown and the yellow. Yeah, I think it just needed something between the two shades because it was just so kind of like dramatic going from the yellow into a dark brown and I'm gonna go back in and just add a little bit of the savior shade so that kind of warm mustardy brown just between the two the orange and the brown just so everything blends seamlessly together and then I'm just going back in with oat which is that deep matte um cool tone brown and just deepening up the edges then with that shade Oat. So I just went ahead and done this eye off camera just to catch up. So I'm going to go in now with the shade Sin which is that black shade. And I'm using that same brush that I used for the dark brown shade. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of black and just deepen up the outer corner. And just along the lash line as well. That is what we're looking like so far on the eyes. So far everything's blending really nicely. The shadows aren't like super insanely pigmented. They're kind of like, I'd say like an eight out of 10 with the pigment, um, which I don't mind. I kind of prefer that because that way you can kind of build it up as well. If you're new to using like colors or new to makeup, that'd be really handy because you're not going to go in and put too much on. You definitely do have to build the shadows up a little bit more, um, but I don't mind that because I prefer to build my colors up then put too much on to start with and then you can't blend it so i think now that i have the top done i'm just gonna add something on the inner corner so i think i'm gonna go for a pop of i think i might go for the purple in the inner corner so i'm gonna take a little bit of myth and i'm taking that on a buff and blend bb02 bullet brush and i'm just gonna pop that on the inner corner and that colour is fab. It reminds me so much of Inglot 112 pigment, which is one of my favourites. So nice. And that is really, really pigmented as well. I literally just used the tiniest amount. And then I'm just adding a tiny little bit of that white shadow. Just over top to kind of brighten and highlight the inner corner a little bit more. I'm actually going to go in and add some of the pink shade, so that shade there, Mercy. And I'm just going to apply that over top just to kind of highlight the very inner corner. That way it kind of gives it like a dual tone effect, you know. So I'm just going to flick out any fallout just because I did do my foundation beforehand. My bad. So I'm just going to flick out. There's not really any fallout to be honest, it's just from the darker shades. I stick to my moustache. So for lashes then, I'm going to use the Glamify Beauty Lashes. This is in the style GB31. They don't have a name. I'm guessing that's like their name. And these lashes are scaldy. I've worn them so many times, so I'm just going to pick off the glue. They're still like perfect. It's just I haven't been picking the glue off because I ain't got time. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking lazy. Oh shit. That one's a bit scaldy. I'll show you the other one. So these are what the lashes look like. So they're super full and fluffy. So I'm just going to pop on some of the NARS Climax Mascara, which is unreal. It's probably one of the best mascaras I've tried. Um, yeah, so I always just pop on my lash glue while I put my mascara on. So that way when I go to put my lashes on, the glue is already tacky and I'm not waiting around. Because I am impatient as fuck. And because the glue was a little bit tacky to begin with, they just glide straight on. But clearly not, I'm struggling here. <laughs> um, yeah. Usually they just go on nicely for me. I'm going to go in with a 
tiny bit of the same concealer I used on my lid as a base and just pop that underneath the eye. What colour should I do underneath? Pink or purple? I'm not sure. I feel like maybe purple because I have the purple in our corner but then I'm thinking I might be too dull. So maybe I should go with like pink. So I've just went ahead and done this eye underneath off camera. So I ended up going with like the pinky kind of purples underneath and then I just popped um, a little bit of a liquid shadow on the inner corner. So the first shade I'm going in with then is this purple shade, which is the shade Freedom. And I'm taking that on a Buff and Blend BB18 brush. So it's like a flat um, shader brush. And I'm just gonna buff that underneath the eye. And this is more of like a true kind of cool tone purple shade. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit with that um, Sacred Heart, the reddish kind of pink shade, just to add a little bit more warmth. I'm actually going to go in with my Inglot 19P brush and I'm still taking that shade Freedom, so the purple shade. And I'm just buffing that out just because I want to soften the edges a little bit. So I just want to use a more fluffy brush. So to add a little bit of warmth, I'm going to still use my Inglot um, 19P brush. I'm going to go in with Sacred Heart, which is that kind of pinky reddish colour. And I'm just going to add that just below where I added that purple shade. Just to add a little bit of warmth and make it look a little bit more pinky than purple. I'm making sure I'm blending that edge right into top half of the eye then to deepen that I'm going to go in with Unruly which is that deep kind of red shade and I'm taking that on that BB18 brush from Buff and Blend and I'm just putting that right underneath the lash line then I'm going to take Sacrifice which is that deep and blackened purple shade and I'm going to keep that right in to the lash line so just right in at the lashes you don't want to take it down too low and then because I'm going to use a black in my waterline I'm going to take a little bit of sin on the same brush and just buff that into the lash line just so when I do pop in my black liner everything looks nice and blended So I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Black Gel Pencil and just pop that into my waterline. And then to add that little pop of highlight underneath the lash line, I'm going to use my Stila Liquid Shadow. This one is in the shade Sunset Cove, so it's kind of like a purple to blue reflex. And I'm just going to pop that right on the inner corner underneath the lash line, so just right the inner corner and take it a little bit into the lower lash line and then I'm going to go back in with the palette and take a little bit of Unruly on that flash shader brush and just blend the edges of that liquid shadow out just so it doesn't have like a harsh line where it stops and then just take a little bit of the black shade just to blend out the edges And then I'm going to pop on some mascara on my bottom lashes and then that is the eye look complete. And just on the top lashes just to blend my lashes with the fake lashes. And that is the finished eye look. So that's a little close up of the eyeballs. So now that I have my eyes finished I'm just going to pop off and finish my bronzer and lips and I'll be back in two seconds. Oh, this ear is just wanting to say hello to the world. I need to hide him. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do bronzer then. So I'm gonna use my Bella Pierre bronzer in the shade Brown Sugar on a Buff and Blend BB05 brush, so just an angled fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna add that to my cheeks. A little bit down the nose and just bring it around like the forehead. Browns me up. And then I always just throw a little bit underneath the jawline as well. Just for good measure. I'm going to 
gonna dip into my Hourglass Unlocked palette and just take that bronzer shade there just to add a little bit of depth and deepen up my bronzer a little bit. And then for blush, I'm gonna take the blush from the palette, so that one there, and the same brush and just pop that on my cheeks. And that one has a gorgeous kind of like rose gold reflect in it as well. So it adds a tiny bit of highlight if you don't want to add highlight on top, but you know I love my glow, so I'm gonna put some highlight over as well. So for highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Oh, what is that bit here done? WE 3D highlighter palette. And I'm gonna take that on my, what brush is this? Morphe R36 brush. And I'm just gonna take a mixture of those two shades and pop that on my cheekbones. Oh, bitch, we is glowing. Highlighter is just my favorite thing to put on. I don't think I'll ever get sick of putting highlight on. I love it. And I always just pop a little bit over each brow just to give the skin all the glowiness. And then a little bit on my nose, chin. I literally just highlight my whole face. Pretty much. And then I'm just going to go back in my bronzer brush and just blend out edges of my highlight. Because you don't want like a streaky lines of highlighter. So just go back in with your bronzer, bl 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 bronzer or blush. And just blend over the tops of everything so everything's seamlessly blended. So I'm just gonna take off the gloss that I have on, which is actually the Ellie Kelly lip gloss I just had on to hydrate my lips. So I'm gonna go in with the Penny's lip liner in the shade Toffee, which is one of my faves. It's very similar to MAC Cork lip liner, I think it is. That ear is just dying to come out, like he just keeps on saying hello. Well, he can just stay in there. Then uh, this is just the Penny's liquid lipstick. I'm not too sure what shade this is in, but it's like a light pale nude. I'm pretty sure there's only two nudes and this is like the lighter one. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Ellie Kelly and Be Perfect lip gloss over top, which is my favorite. Are we seeing this gloss? Like it's just amazing. I really hope to bring this gloss out um, by itself. I will buy like 50 of them. So that is the finished look using the Kaylee palette. Overall, my thoughts on the palette are I had absolutely no issues with blending. Everything blends pretty really nicely. You get your handy little mirror inside the palette, which is super handy. You get pretty much all the shades you'd need for most looks. You get your white, you get your browns, gold, standard kind of colours for everyday use. Then you get your pops of colours, metallic shades, and then you have a black as well, which is so handy. The only colour I did find was a little bit more sheer is the shade Chaos. She did actually say that in her video that it's more of like a wash of colour and not an actual colour, if that makes any sense. It's more of like a yield of colour, so it's best applied with your finger, which I did find. So once I popped it on the lid with my finger, it went on a lot more pigmented. I did pretty much use the majority of the shades today. So I went in with like the yellow, the orange, a few of the purples the browns and overall I had absolutely no issues Um, I did find that the purples actually build it up really nicely underneath the eye with the black and they're really nice and intense so I really want to do a look with just the pinks and the purples so if you want to see that let me know in the comments below and I'll do a look that's more just like pink and purple all over overall it's such a cute handy little palette it's great for traveling it has pretty much all the shades I'd use this palette is literally just me in a palette like these are my most used like go-to colors so a huge congratulations to kaylee on her palette it's absolutely amazing it's definitely so horror like it's just so grungy and cool it's such a gorgeous little palette and i definitely recommend to pick it up and give it a try whether you're a makeup artist or someone who's only getting into makeup it's such a handy little palette to have in your collection and yeah that is all for today's look if you want to see the look using more of the pink and purple shades let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next one Done.